Motortech's technical advisory service occasionally receives calls from members asking for advice about problems with the charging systems or excessive noise coming from the engine's serpentine belt. These problems can sometimes be related back to a failure of the alternator pulley. Up until the late 90s, most alternators had a solid alternator pulley to turn the rotor of the alternator. As engine components have been made lighter to reduce cost and increase efficiency, there is now less mass to absorb the vibrations in the dry belt system. Most modern alternator pulleys now have a one-way clutch fitted to allow the alternator to spin freely when the engine speed decreases, which reduces noise and vibrations. These units are called overrunning alternator pulleys or OAPs, and the more advanced versions are called overrunning alternator decouplers or OADs. Both types have been known to fail in two common ways. The most common way is for them to lock up, which makes them act like a solid pulley. This will cause belt movement called belt flutter, and the belt will squeal or chirp with changes in engine speed. This flutter may cause the belt tensioner to move excessively, which could lead the tensioner or other components to fail prematurely. The other possible fault is a failure of the one-way clutch, which will not transfer drive to the alternator rotor, causing the charging system to fail. In both cases, the pulley must be replaced, which requires special tools to complete this task. These pulleys are considered a consumable item. If not specified, replacement at approximately 100,000 kilometres is recommended, or at the same time as the drive belt is replaced. They must be replaced with the correct part number, as these pulleys are tuned to the specific engine types and the wrong part number may cause belt flutter. For testing and more detailed precautions on overrunning alternator pulleys or overrunning alternator decouplers, see the October 2020 issue of Tech Talk, log on to VACC's Motor Tech, or call VACC's Technical Advisory Service.